and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? How are you? This is Old Homestead Steakhouse at Caesar's Palace, which is not here anymore. However, many of us have fond memories of this restaurant, whether celebrating birthdays, jackpots, or just walking by here all the time, checking out this cow. Moo. And yes, I do have a video on Old Homestead. Please check it out. I miss Old Homestead, but guess what? Vegas is all about what's next, and uh, Vegas life goes on. And this is what's next. Bobby Flay's new restaurant that'll open in January. Little State Peak. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh boy, I was hesitant to move the curtains, but they saw what I was doing. No one said anything, so no harm, no foul. Check it out, guys. Brasserie B, here we go. Prices are, you know, reasonably priced. Nothing too crazy. Actually, it's, you know, under the average which is on par with this restaurant on the side here, Amalfi, which I have a video on, guys, Amalfi. And uh, this is Bobby Flay's take on Brasserie B, French food, okay? Duck confit, $38. Some of the lamb chops, steaks, 82. I don't know how many ounces these are, but 82 bucks. That's kind of on, on par, a little bit under par in terms of price point. Tuna tartare, 26 bucks. Uh, roasted prawns. Prices are not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad. Huh. First impressions. It reminds me of Bardot at Aria, which is also a brasserie. Got a video on that. Check it out. Slightly lower prices and a little bit more casual, which might be a good thing for many of us. And the, the, the core is open style. This used to be old homestead steakhouse that got pushed out once uh, Peter Luger was slated to come in. There's a lot of fans of Old Homestead that's been here previous to this. And it's not just a makeover. This is a complete, complete different restaurant, including the bar set up here. Old Homestead, the bar was set up on the other side here. And this is a big size, good size action here. And that's where Amalfi is. Boom, boom, boom. Bobby Flair restaurant. I don't like Bobby, well, I didn't like Bobby Flay. I just thought he was some kind of a douchebag when he made his appearance on the Iron Chef in the early 2000s. And I saw him do his things, his antics. Here in New York, hundreds of fans in culinary ecstasy raising the roof at Webster Hall. The seconds. dreams of reality. The New York cook-off, Iron Chef Morimoto and Ten Bobby Flay. This trip, these recent days, this battle, what an incredible experience has been and what a fantastic reception New York's Three, given us. It's two, going crazy one. and here's the final seconds tick down. That's it. They're done. The greatest battle in Iron Chef history, the Black Crab Battle from New York is over. myself in the first 10 minutes and I was getting electrocuted every three minutes but you know what we rocked the house we rocked the house we rocked the house let's talk with Iron Chef Morimoto how was the battle tonight well one hour is too short by the way he's not a chef you know after finishing he stood up on the cutting board that's not right why you say he's not a chef he stood on the cutting board Cutting boards and knives are sacred to us. Ever since that moment, I just kind of tuned out from him. But I had to try this restaurant in Amalfi, and it changed my tone on Bobby Flay. The restaurant was actually good. And uh, here we go. Brasserie B. Bobby says, Designed with Parisian brasseries in mind, the cuisine will appear to hit many French classics with tons of impactful, bold flavors I've become to known for. Get ready for the hustle, the bustle, and the high energy cooking of Brasserie B. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh boy. All right, guys, I'm tripping a little bit. I'm editing this in my Caesar's Palace room right now. I need to go eat. 
Very cool. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful tile work. Unique light fixtures. Cool. Nothing too crazy, but it looks cool. Right in front of Nobu. And next to Monte Cristo Cigar Bar. I love that place, guys. And uh, yeah. Well, all right, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please push that like button. Uh, I had to edit this one out real quick because I just saw the uh, little sneak peek and I thought I would share it with you because I am looking forward to this restaurant. Hate to say it, but Bobby Flay's Amalfi restaurant is really good uh, for what it is. Uh, anyhow, uh, comment below. And if you enjoyed this one, subscribe. It makes a huge impact for a little channel like this one. All right, y'all. Oh, and check it out, guys. I got a video of Mr. Chow, which is right there. It's a little blurry coming up soon. I was again, very surprised at my experience there. All right, y'all, thank you for watching and please come again. Bye-bye.